this is a, a case report uh, that we ended up doing with a 73 year old female. Um, no uh, significant past medical history. Um, she ended up coming um, uh, to Johns Hopkins with neurologic uh, decline, functional decline, uh, several falls. And this was about a month or two after she had been diagnosed with COVID-19, only a mild infection. Um, and, uh, you know, workup was, uh, you know, didn't reveal anything in CSF studies. So it was a bit of a peculiar case, um, but even beyond the ALS itself, the reason why we ended up presenting this case was um, really its onset and, and you know, following COVID-19 only a month or two um, afterwards. And I think this is really important for clinicians and researchers in the future to really understand that there are many, many manifestations that can come um, after COVID-19 infection. Um, there have already been several other neurologic conditions and to add ALS to that, um, with this being one of the first ones, uh, you know, in the literature so far, um, I think is really important. Uh, so not only should clinicians be aware that it could potentially be something that follows infection, um, but also for the researchers to understand really the mechanism and pathophysiology of how this neurologic condition can come about, I think is uh, quite important and really our goal for this research.